goodness, where's Wally? You can never find that man. Hey, Wally, what are you doing up there? Oh, Miss Caroline, I'm just up the ladder having a look at the awesome craftsmanship of Mr. Santana and Mr. Smith. Yeah, they had a, had a big hole to fix in the roof and uh, you never even know it was there. They did a great job. Wow, a hole in the roof? Yeah, that was a bit of a hole from a rainstorm a couple of years ago. That sounds like the story I was going to tell you about today. Yeah. It, it's got a man who comes through a hole in the roof. Be careful coming down. Make sure you're safe. Yeah. Well, g'day, g'day, praise kids. Hello, praise kids. How good was that story, that episode about Ruth last week? Man, she praise was good. a faithful, faithful woman. And did you bless your mums on Mother's Day? I hope you I did. Hope you did. Hey, I was catching up with my mum yesterday. Yeah. And she told me I should have used a joke. What was the joke? It was the joke was who was Boaz before Ruth came along. Oh, what was Boaz called before Ruth came along? Who was he? He was ruthless. Oh, <laughs> good joke, that one. Nice, hey. nice, right, yeah. Well, Miss Kayleen, uh, yes. What were you doing at the roof before? I was having a look for that. What, what that hole was in the roof, and seeing if they fixed it, they did a great job. That was awesome. Oh well, you know what? If you have a look in the Bible here, yeah, the Candle Classic Bible, yes, on page. Uh, 193. 193, yes. And you will find a story that says down through the roof. Are we having a Bible adventure about a roof tonight, Miss We Cameron? are having an adventure through down, the roof. Down through the roof, right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what happens in this story, Miss Carlin? Well, the man, he's been sick. Yeah. And he's got a couple of friends. Is it, How sick is he? Is he like just... Broken his, broken his finger He's now. like, he can't move his legs, he can't move his arms, he's paralyzed. He's paralyzed from like the neck down. Is that called like a paraplegic? It is. Oh man, that'd be pretty some bad. Good friends. Got some good friends. Yeah, so you want to hear about my story? Yeah, okay, let's have a read about him. All right, do you want me to read? Yeah, go for it. Okay, here we go. It says, a paralyzed man wanted Jesus to heal him. Four of his closest friends made a kind of stretcher bed and they carried him to the house where Jesus was staying. Wow. When they saw the huge crowds, they decided to lift the stretcher up onto the flat roof yeah. and lower the friend into the room where Jesus was healing people. Oh, wow. So it was like it wasn't like a roof like we have today. No, it was flat. A flat it, roof. Yeah, and I think it was like clay or mud or something oh. like that. I think actually Miss Carly in those days they had like the clay or the mud tiles and they could take some tiles away. I see, that's yeah. pretty clever. So, hey, Miss Carly, yeah. I wonder mm. what it would be like uh, to lower, lower that uh, man before Jesus in a modern day setting. Mm. Well, I mean, uh, you've all heard the story of uh, the lame guy having to get taken to Jesus. Uh, lowering through the roof. I'm a, I've assembled an elite team here today. Thanks for coming, Thor. Uh, no Hulk smash! Iron Man. So uh, let's let's get down to business. Oh, can't we just use the front stairs? Oh, uh, well, no. Uh, technically, in Jesus' day, there's too many people around. So uh, yeah, stairs weren't an option. We have to get him up on the roof, and yeah, that's that's all the only way we can do it. Sorry. Okay, I've got a few bright ideas. Let's fly him up there, I'll burn a hole through the roof, drop him in front of Jesus, and be done with it. Meeting over, what's up, Iron Man? Way too distracting. First of all, we need a safety tool. Take five, boys. What do we need to consider? Oh, if you turn that electricity off and take the fuses out, we don't want to electrocute the poor bloke. I mean, he's paralyzed. But we don't want to make Jesus have to raise him from the dead, right? Hulk smash! What do you mean you're smashed? Hulk smash! Right, uh, well, I think the electricity's off for a while. Uh, the next job we have to do is get him up on the roof. Thoughts? Uh, we throw him up! Well, we could hit him with my hammer. Uh, Maybe we could just borrow me dad's ladder. I think that might be just a little bit safer for this work. No smash! Not as much fun! No, but possibly less painful. 
Yeah, true. Right, men. So uh, when we get up on the roof, um, how are we going to get in through the tin? Well, I can blow a hole through with my oxy torch. Right. Maybe something a little less destructive. What right, about? Any other ideas? Might use this impact wrench, but I'll be here all night. I want to knock off early. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, nice idea, but I think that one might be a little bit hard to explain to the missus when you get home. A hole in the ceiling trick. What about the light when you get into the ceiling? You're going to need to be able to see. Good. Whip up a bit of fresh light then. Not my oxy torch is still on offer. Definitely fire hazards. We don't have a Hollywood budget here, fellas. I'll set up for a torch then. Right, our boys. Uh, fuses, ladder, impact wrench, and torch. Well, I think we're good to go. Um, right, oak. On, on, on three, we're going to go get uh, our mate to Jesus to get healed. On three. One, two. Uh, I think your operation name's a bit lame. No offense, you paralyzed, mate. Uh, needs to be more punchy. Right, healing Jesus on three. One, two, three. Healing healing Jesus. Jesus. But seriously, mate, you got no idea. You come to the right place. I'll show you how to do it. Follow me, fellas. Good night, boys. That's just a bit of fun, isn't it, Miss Carolyn? <laughs> that was a bit of fun. Yeah, that was yeah but uh, I'm sure those friends were very careful and they lowered their friend down before Jesus. Were they some of your friends, were they? Uh, those guys were, yeah, they're oh, awesome. That were cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If okay. you, need, you need a job done, go see those boys. Right on, yeah. Right on. All right, back to the story. So, they made a hole in the roof. Yeah. Then they carefully eased the stretcher down until the friend was laying right in front of Jesus. Wow. So I'm imagining that room was pretty crowded. Pretty packed, yeah. For them to have to go down through the roof, eh? True. Yeah. Now Jesus was pleased when he saw the faith of the man's friends. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said to the paralyzed man, I forgive your sins. Forgave him of all his sins, just yeah. like that. Yeah. Wow. And the religious leaders who didn't like Jesus said, Who do you think he is? Only God can forgive who sins. Who does he think he is? Who well, doesn't okay. think he is? Only God can forgive sins. They didn't believe in Jesus, did they, Miss no. Cullen? So Jesus knew what they were thinking, and he said, Which do you think is harder, to forgive sins or to heal the body? Oh, I reckon they would have been thinking it was, it was harder to heal the body. They reckon they, they wouldn't have been able to think Jesus would heal the paralyzed man. Jesus said, Well, I'll do both. He'll do what? <laughs> yep. And he said to the paralyzed man, Stand up, you are well now. Go on home. Wow. And the man jumped to his feet. He picked up the stretcher and he hurried home. This paralyzed man wasn't anymore. He wasn't paralyzed and anymore. Everyone was absolutely amazed. He wasn't worried about being para, para, being a paraplegic. He was going paragliding. <laughs> yeah. Man, absolutely. he was ready to run. Yeah, I reckon. That's awesome. Hey, Miss Kayla. Amazing story. I like that story. I've got an awesome uh, testimony. Have you? And it doesn't involve any more superheroes, although they were awesome. Yes. And. Uh, I'm not, I was very grateful for them. Yeah. This testimony when I was at a workshop. Okay. And uh, I used to work with my dad yes. in a workshop. And yeah. one day the the foreman, the guy mm. in charge of all us young guys, his dad was really sick with cancer. Oh, that's not good. And we were at a church service here on Sunday. Yes. And the visiting pastor was talking about a miracle Jesus did where he, uh, he didn't heal a paralyzed man, but uh, Paul, when he used to lay handkerchiefs on people, they used to get better. Okay. And so I thought, man, my, my friend's got my, uh, the boss at the work, the foreman's mm -hmm. got, his dad's got cancer. So I'll get a handkerchief prayed for. And I took it to him and said, hey, put this on your dad's bed and uh, we'll believe for him to get healed. And he's like, oh man, we don't believe in that stuff. And uh, so 
I said, look, there's a story in the Bible about, about a paralyzed man. Yeah. And he couldn't get to Jesus. And he, he didn't necessarily, I don't even, the Bible doesn't even say if he had faith, but his friends had faith for him, didn't they? Because yes. Jesus was pleased when he saw his friend's faith. Yeah. And all they had to do was get him to Jesus and he got healed. So he said, you might, I said, you mightn't have any faith, but I, I'm believing for you that uh, your dad's going to get better. So just, just try okay. it out. What can, what, can you, what can you lose? Yeah. So, so what he happened? said, right, so he took it to, um, took it to his dad mm -hmm. and uh, nothing seemingly happened at first. Oh. And a couple of weeks later, he was scheduled for an operation. Okay. And his body, they scanned him. He was riddled with cancer. Mm -hmm. And they took him down there and they opened him up. And I got a phone call mm -hmm. a day or two after. And all I heard was, oh, thank you, Luke. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Luke. I, was, I didn't do anything. What happened? It says I opened him up and there wasn't any cancer in his body. Wow. And so that was an amazing miracle sure that, was. Uh, that encouraged my faith mm -hmm. and uh, that God... He doesn't just heal paralyzed people way back in Bible days, but God's still doing miracles today. Today, yes. And God, He uh, heals some people and yes. other people that don't get healed. But uh, I don't think it's it's up to us to worry about who gets healed and who doesn't. Or God's we, God's pleased when He sees our faith and that He wants to uh, wants to use you, praise kids, mm -hmm. that as you believe for Jesus, the healing Jesus, to uh, to heal paralyzed people or any people that I believe that God still wants to do miracles through us today because he says that anyone who believes in him, they'll lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So that's a good promise for us to believe for today. So thanks for taking me on that Bible adventure, Miss Colleen. That's Were right. you going to say something too? One more thing yeah. about that story. You know what really um, really spoke to me through the story? What's that, Miss Was that those men helped their friend to be healed. That's true. They took their friend to Jesus. That's right. And you know what, praise kids, each one of us, we can we can be a part of that too, taking our friends to Jesus. That's whether right. they're sick, whether they're lonely, whether they just need someone to love them, you can be a part of taking your friends to Jesus, That's introducing right. them to your friend, Jesus, because you know what he's done for you. And you know why we do that? It's in what the Bible. That? Let me just quickly grab the scripture. Hey, Miss Carlene, it's while you turn it to that scripture. I've got it already. You already got it. Oh, yeah, you read it to from, me. Hang on. It's from Romans 12, verse Romans 10. 10. Yeah. And it says, love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Wow. And I think that's why those guys were helping out their mate. They were genuine. Genuine. Wanted to help their Wanted friend. Wanted them to know about Jesus. That's good. And Miss Cullen, the other amazing thing in that story. Yeah. It, what, what was the most important thing? To Jesus was it that guy getting healed or was a guy getting forgiven it for his sins? His sins were forgiven. Wow! Well, so that's the most amazing miracle that that there ever can be in this life. God wants a right relationship with you. He wants to forgive our sins, your sin, my sin, Miss Carlene's sin, and He wants us to have a right relationship with Him. But it's equally important that He He says, "Beloved or friends, I wish above all else that you prosper and be in health." even as your soul prospers. So just like God gets our hearts right on the inside, He wants us to be healthy and blessed on the outside too. So that's good news, isn't it? Yeah, so right, that's yeah. another exciting adventure. Another exciting adventure. We're going to pray this stay out of roofs. Yeah, we, we uh, make sure... I don't think Pastor would like it if we cut the roof up here. No, because they actually, they didn't damage the roof in the Bible. They, they didn't. Did they they put no. the tiles back, it was all safe. But we should be bringing our friends to Jesus, so... That's true. Let's, okay, let's so let's ask God to help that. us to do that. All right. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are healing Jesus still today. Yes. Lord, give us boldness and courage. Show us people, Lord, who we can pray for and uh, that you can do more miracles today, Lord. Heal more paralyzed people, Lord. Heal more sick people. But above all else, help us to take our friends to Jesus as well, Lord, and uh, to help them to see that their sins are forgiven yeah. and, uh, Lord, that they can have a right friendship, a right relationship with you, Lord. So we give you the praise and thank you that, uh, Lord, you'd help us to do whatever it takes, even if we have to go through a roof to get to you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Awesome. All right. See you, See praise, praise kids. kids. Woohoo!